Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, sorry for my appearance, I'm feeling a little bit uh, deep and vampy. I went ham and played on Periscope. If you guys aren't following me on Periscope, you should. It is at Alana Rama. I will list that down below. Uh, I got ready on Periscope and it was super fun. So thanks to everyone who chatted with me. You will know what I put on my face, but otherwise I will also link all of the products that I used today in the description box down below. So today I wanna talk about the ever so infamous Morphe 350 palettes. I have the Morphe 350M palette, which is all of the mattes. And then I also have the 350S, which is all of the shimmer palettes. These two eyeshadow palettes come in a bundle. That is what I ordered off of their site. It was $43.99 US for the two of these palettes. And then the shipping to Canada was anywhere between uh, $25 and $35. I paid for the $30 shipping because I'm really impatient and I wanted my shipping to be a little bit faster. So that was really upsetting, the fact that the shipping was almost just as much as the two palettes combined. And then I was so stupid and totally forgot that YouTubers have discount codes and I didn't use one of the discount codes for these. So if you're gonna buy anything from the Morphe website, then be sure to use the 30% off discount codes that a lot of the YouTubers have. That was a stupid mistake on my part. For those of you who are going to be curious, the shipping to Canada was really fast. I think I got it like four days after I ordered these online. There were no duty fees or anything and they came in good shape. None of them were broken. So I wanted to do a full review on these because I did use them today and I am super, super excited about them and happy to say that I really do think that they are amazing quality and so affordable for the quality that you get in these eyeshadows. So let's open them up. I'm gonna stop blibber blabbering. This is the matte eyeshadow palette here. As you can see, I played with a couple of these eyeshadows today and I was so shocked at how well these blended out. On my eyes today, I used this one all over as a base. I used this camel colored shade in the crease and then I used these two deeper red ones to kind of blend out and I thought that they were amazing, like amazingly pigmented. When I was swatching a few of these shades on Snapchat, these more red toned ones were a little bit more chalky and patchy, but I could build it up to like a full pigmented shade. I didn't have any of those problems when I was applying these. They weren't patchy at all on my eyes. You do get 35 eyeshadows in here and I'm not sure actually how big the pans are. Hold up, wait a minute, let me put my two cents in. I don't know how much is in each of the pans, but it's 56, hold up. Let's just do a little bit of math here, okay? Let's just do a little bit of math. Let's divide that by 35 and you get 0 0.02 ounces. I mean grams in each of these. So they are slightly smaller than a MAC eyeshadow. A MAC eyeshadow, you get 0.05 grams in each of these shadows. So I don't know how that works out. This is still gonna be much cheaper than many eyeshadows you can find on the market. If any of you have any allergies, these eyeshadows do contain talc, mica, mineral oil, and a lot of like random colory things. So if you're allergic to any of those things, be known that these uh, contain those ingredients. I played and touched with all of these and I really do think that for the price, like 22 bucks, for 35 eyeshadows, you literally can't go wrong. I feel like if you buy the matte eyeshadow palette and the shimmer eyeshadow palette, you would never need to buy another eyeshadow palette again. I'm not an affiliate with Morphe. I'm not uh, sponsored in any way. I spent an arm and a leg getting these shipped to Canadia land and uh, I think it's worth it. I'm so excited to be playing with all of these. I just wanted to tell you guys that I really think that these are amazing and I'm really getting off track here because I was just supposed to be talking about the matte eyeshadows. So let's just open that back up again and let's just talk about these because my brain is going all over the place. So I feel like the main tone of these palettes is warm, but you do have a really nice amount of cool shades. Like it's a really nice mixture of both. The warms kind of exist on this side and then it like fades in and gets a little bit cooler over here. And I just think you have such an amazing variety. The one thing I do wish that they had was the more darker shades. Like why don't they have a black? Why don't they have like a really nice dark, dark blacky brownie shade, you know? In order for me to consider this a complete eyeshadow palette, I need a black, homie. Give me a black. So that's my only downside. Other than that, you probably have every shade in here that you could possibly imagine in the neutral, warm, cool toned eyeshadow life. So big thumbs up on the matte eyeshadow palette. And uh, let's uh, talk about the shimmer eyeshadow palette. Same dealio here. You've got the more warm shades on this side and then it fades into the cooler toned eyeshadows. Now, most of these are very creamy and beautiful, apply really nicely. I'm gonna warn you that there is a lot of fallout to these. Like I applied this shade right here, which looks very much like, um, I don't remember what shadow I'm trying to think of, but it's uh, sparking familiarity in my brain. Sprinkled all down my face when I applied it onto the lid, so make sure to tap off the excess if you're using any of these shimmer shadows. And I will also say that not all of them are like that. Not all of them kind of like crumble. I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys what I mean. 
Um, a lot of them are just very nice and creamy, like this one is very soft and creamy, so is this one, but some of them, like this shadow and this one right here, just kind of crumble when you touch them. Like, you can blend it out until it's soft, but you will get a lot of fallout when you apply it. So I'll say that some of them aren't necessarily my most favorite shimmery, buttery, uh, sparkly, how many adjectives can I use for it? Uh, formula of eyeshadows because I don't like it when they crumble all over my face, but not all of them are like that. So I still think that this is definitely worth the very affordable price tag that it has. And you get so many shimmer options. Like these are all shimmer eyeshadows. You get 35 shimmery eyeshadows, which is totally insane. Like you could be playing with combinations of eyeshadow forever with these two palettes. I feel like that's all I can really say about it. Um, I think they're amazing. I think they're totally worth the hype. I'm so happy that I picked them up and I can finally understand why the whole YouTube world has been raving about them for so long now. And I'm not sure about their shipping internationally, but if you're in Canada, like I said, the shipping is very expensive. So if you're going to the States, I'd recommend buying them in a store there instead of paying double the price to ship them to your house. But if you're willing to spend a hundred bucks, it came out to a hundred dollars Canadian for the two of these for the shipping and everything. And then remember, I also forgot to use a discount code. So it'd be 30% off that. So 70 bucks Canadian to get both of these Morphe eyeshadow palettes. I think it's totally, totally worth it. You get 70 eyeshadows, you guys. The possibilities are endless with these. So, so happy to have those in my life now. I'm definitely gonna be doing lots of looks using them in the future. So I'm gonna have to think of what I'm gonna do with these ones, but just know that they have my stamp of approval, total 10 out of 10. I'm super excited about these and I love the shades. I love how they apply to the eyes. I'm so excited. If you guys have tried these Morphe eyeshadow palettes, let me know what you think. Um, I'm really excited to play with them and yeah, let me know what other products you guys would like me to review about the launches that are coming out in the future. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video everyone and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!